don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> hey, I was happy it was over. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Oh. I had no business other than the office. I love it. It is wartime right now. As soon as I woke up this morning, Jet Bugs is there. Oh, yeah, there it is. Let's get it. Let's get it. You know what I mean? This was a seated tournament. I'd probably be seated tenth, and there was only eight guys. So um, I'm, I'm all right with that. I came in, you know, my record says nine and zero, but I, I think I'm 14 or 15 and zero uh, unofficially. So um, I know what I'm capable of doing. I train. I've got one of the best teams in my mind that I could possibly ask for. These guys know what it takes, um, and uh, you know, I just shut up and come in the gym and work hard every day. And so I'm gonna keep doing. It. And it's my thing is. Every time I step into that cage, I'm, I'm going to leave with no regrets, you know. So, I don't really care who it is. I've got mad respect for both of them, but I'm going to bring a fight, you know. And uh, I train hard for this. I've earned it. I'm building my legacy as we speak. Um, so, let's, let's do this, you know. That's me, you know. I mean, I, you know, I've, I've always loved electronic music, um, you know. So that's just me. And I just wanted to put myself in the mind frame that I, that I'm here to have fun. This is a party. You saw that crowd. I, you know, I had a, hundreds of friends and family here. And on top of being having a party thrown for me, I get to get in a fist fight that they're gonna pay me for. So that's the mindset that I got into, and, and it worked. All right, here we go, Joey. Come on, baby. Dance with me, baby. Let's go. Well, other day at the office, you know, you try not to think about what's happening afterwards. I'm not the kind of guy I take one step at a time and in a fight if you think of something else it's, <laughs> it can be dangerous. Outside looking in, I'm sure people probably th thought it was a war, but I, I felt super comfortable, super calm the entire time. Those are the fights that I've been known for, and I kind of got away from that for a while and started overthinking shit and, and getting into like just weird, just silly fights that weren't really me. And so this whole time, I've just been doing a lot of uh, mental exercises, positive affirmations, just be Joey, just be Joey, just be Joey. Fuck, dude, I'm gonna hit hard. Right, right here. Are you his wife? Hi. Go to nice. the hospital today. It was an honor. Yeah, nice to meet you. Okay. It was an honor to share the cage with him. It was a very good fight. Yes, it, it was. was. Really good fight. I think everybody knows that I'm tough. Everybody knows that, that uh, I'll take fights on 10 days notice. I don't give a fuck. I'm here now. That fight starts the locomotive. We're keeping the train going, and you know I don't need to prove I'm tough anymore. I'm here to prove that I'm a legitimate contender for the light heavyweight title. Okay. Oh, adrenaline's so adrenaline's gone. <laughs> You know, and if I can make a prediction or, or uh, want to put it out in the universe right now, you know, I want Rampage to beat Mo, I want Rampage to beat Emmanuel Newton, and I want to get my rematch for the world title against Rampage. That would be my perfect ending to this to this Bellator fairy tale. Just want to say thank you to Bjorn. Thank you to the Bellator organization. You guys have done everything that you've said that you were going to do for me. Um, you know, I, I'm I'm a freaking happy camper here at Bellator. It was a good, tough fight. I hit him a lot, hit him really hard. I think I broke my hand. But he's got a hard head. He was keep coming, I wouldn't be able to stop. It was exciting for fans. For me, a little bit sad. I could have done a little bit better. Again, many injuries and uh, old age, I guess, it's let you know. If you want to go out, you better go out talking about Bowie style. Let me take a picture of you. <laughs>
<laughs> so when we have our grandkids, you can show the grandkids. <laughs> Come on, with a smile on your face. Oh. Uh, MMA is still going to be a big part of my life, but uh, you know, just training is one thing, <laughs> training for a fight is a little bit different. You can't experience this kind of type of thing in, a fight, in a just training. Walking in the cage and walking out of the cage, it's only a few people in the world can do it. And like I said in the stage, it was a big honor to be part of this brotherhood of fighters and uh, nobody can understand that feeling except fighters. To fans, well you still have a lot of entertainment to watch. There's a lot of good fighters there so you know I'm leaving sorry but there's a lot of a lot of good fights ahead. <laughs>